gloves, full sleeves, safety glasses, and earplugs are not your typical summer camp wear. But Mind Over Metal at the Cowichan Trade Center is not your typical summer camp. It's awesome. I've always wanted to do something like this. It's been pretty good and yes, yeah, building lots of stuff. The Mind Over Metal summer camp is a, a group of age 11 to 15 year old students that are wanting to try uh, to, to get their hand into a, a metal trade. Um, currently, the high schools are offering woodworking and, and plumbing and, and electrical type of trades, but the, the metal trade has never been offered to a high or a, an elementary school age uh, student before. You have to have a lot of patience, and it's really fun. So we're cutting out 90 degrees. This one-week camp for youth was made possible with a partnership between the school district, Vancouver Island University, and the Canadian Welding Association, who donated the $10,000 to make it free of charge for the 20 children participating. It's an idea that came about uh, last year. We had a pilot project at St. Joseph's High School in Edmonton, and we had two one-week camps with at-risk youth there, and we had such a great response and great testimonials come back from parents and the students that we decided we'd do this Canada-wide. So our goal this year was to do two in every province, but uh, we didn't quite make that, but we did have 12 camps right across Canada. The CWA is, is the one who spearheaded the program. They've also donated all the personal protective equipment, all the welding gear, and all the promotional uh, um, video that we are using to teach in the classroom. But we still need welders to be able to operate that robot. So he actually took his welding trade first, then he went to, into robotics. I have 18 years of teaching the welding trade, and I think we forgot about the trade some time ago. I complained to computers for that, Ashley, and now that uh, schools, high schools, elementary schools are starting to realize it's just as important to have the trades training in the schools. There's big opportunities for welders with an expected shortage of tradesmen in the next five to ten years. These camps are a way to introduce the trade to younger people. I think it's pretty fun. It's like learning to do new things and it is something that you can use in the rest of your life. We get to create and use our imagination and stuff. We've been learning lots of how to be safe and everything. You can see how engaged they are with all the projects they're doing here. It's important to start them at that age and see if we can spark some interest. They were so excited to get into the shop and start making sparks and, and using hand tools and, and just getting into it. They're having a, a fantastic time and they can't wait to come the next day and they actually have asked if we could stay longer each day and of course we can't but uh, they, they have to ask. It almost puts the hair up on my back just coming in here, the energy, the enthusiasm, they're all engaged, they're so busy, they're just, they want to get to work, it's a really good feeling. I want to be a mechanic when I'm older so this will definitely help. I'm thinking about doing, being an engineer and building cars and stuff. At first I was a little worried because I was the only girl and then it's really not so bad and it's really fun. I'm learning a lot. One of the areas that we're targeting is uh, women in trades and uh, again as a teacher uh, I used to have at least two, three, maybe four girls in each class. It's becoming more and more common and they realize that they're, uh, uh, they make really good welders. The interest in the welding program at the Cowichan Trade Centre has continued to grow since they opened three years ago. They've doubled in capacity and currently have a wait list. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Kelly Robinson. That's got it.